Hello, hello. Uh, what's your name? My name is Jada Elcock. I am a shark researcher here at Hui. Aren't all sharks like, like predators and scary? No, actually we have three very large filter feeding sharks, our whale sharks, basking sharks, and our mega mouth sharks. I study the first two, the whale shark and the basking shark. And the whale shark is actually one of only two uh, known omnivorous shark species. Not only do they eat small fishes and zooplankton, but they're also known to eat an algae called sargassum, specifically floating sargassum. And they can get nutrients from that, um, you know, use it to grow and things like that, just the way that we would with any of the food that we eat. So we're really excited about finding large adult whale sharks in this region um, and trying to understand more about those animals that are so hard to study. So we go out about 100 miles off the coast out to this like canyons and seamounts region. Um, and these tags are our bio loggers. They've got a whole bunch of different sensors in it. So we've got a spot tag up here, which will give us geolocation of the animal, um, which is important because this tag needs to be recovered to get any of the data that it records. And then this right here is a package that basically houses a depth sensor, a temperature sensor. Um, it'll measure light levels, and then it'll also measure um, acceleration and magnetic field strength in three different axes at 16 data points per second or more, depending on how you program it. And what? Oh my gosh, so much. We bring many rolls of duct tape and it's always brightly colored so that we can find it. This is a PSAT tag, pop-off satellite archival transmitting tag. Basically what happens is this gets anchored into the shark just below the dorsal fin. Um, they're very hardy animals, so it's really not doing that much damage at all um, and they heal really easily. So what this tag does is basically archives a whole bunch of data like the time that they spend at certain depths, the time that they spend at certain temperatures, um, a bit of a time series of the depth and temperature as well. So it sits on the shark uh, for a really long time, a couple months to maybe a year, year and a half or so, um, and then it pops off of the shark and when this interacts with the air, it transmits a summary of all of that data to a satellite. So what I'm doing with this data is trying to understand um, more about their migration. So we know that they move from Cape Cod and up in Canada down into the Caribbean during the winter time. Um, and they're spending time in really, really deep water when they're out there, like 400 to 1,000 meters throughout most of the winter. And we wanna understand what the heck are you guys doing so deep in the ocean? Um, my hypothesis is that they're out here for feeding purposes. So we see other large sharks and baleen whales come out here during the summer to feed. So knowing that the whale sharks are also coming here during that same time makes me think that potentially they're out here for feeding.